What's up everyone? It's Cyber Coco and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're doing something a little bit different because I felt like I was up for some investigation work. If you don't know, I am obsessed with the beautiful fragrance Vivian Westwood Boudoir. Now, this perfume, I will put into words a bit later in the video, like describing the scent of it, but right now, as of right now, at this point in the video, let me just say, you've never smelt anything like it before. It's just truly its own. It is really its own beautiful scent that is a game changer. It is truly beautiful. However, it is incredibly hard to get your hands on a bottle of it because it has been discontinued. So, what do we do? What do you do when you want to have that signature scent? What do you do when you've had Vivian Wessel Boudoir before and you're running out and you can't get a new bottle or you just want to try it for the first time? I have a solution. So if you want to find out the perfect dupe for Vivian Westwood, then keep on watching. Okay, so let me just start off by saying I do own Vivian Westwood Boudoir. It is an itsy bitsy bottle. Now this is a five mil bottle of Vivian Westwood Boudoir. It is honestly so gorgeous. It is the cutest little thing. However, the perfume inside packs a real punch. It is so divine. So here we have Vivian Westwood Boudoir. And over here we have Eden Perfumes number 618. This is the Vivian Westwood Boudoir dupe. So Eden perfumes are 100% vegan, cruelty free, and between 80 and 90% of the ingredients that they use are certified organic. And you're probably thinking like, perfumes, vegan, wouldn't they be vegan? What, what animal products could they possibly put in perfume? Take a quick little Google search. Not now, after this video. So that's why I was so happy to see that Eden perfumes are vegan. I'm also vegan as well, so it's a perfect match for me. And I'm telling you, the quality and the longevity of the perfumes. I've tested this perfume out, obviously, because I want to make sure, I want to see if it smells anything like the Vivian Westwood perfume. But on top of that, I'm talking like spray it one day, wake up the next day and you still have that scent on you. But let me just quickly, before we get into it, explain to you what the scent of Vivian Westwood is. So Vivian wants to create a perfume that would make you smell irresistible. And she absolutely did that. The whole idea of it was to be very sexy. It was to be very lustful. It was meant to be very head turner, like put you in a trance kind of thing. And I have to say, when I smell it, I am in a trance. It is so powerful. It is truly unique. Now this perfume to me smells like such gorgeous warmth. I get butterflies in my chest and in my stomach. It is just lust. It is bottled lust. This scent, when I smell it, it just transports me to a room where there's gorgeous antique wallpaper, velvet curtains, an antique gold phone, a dresser, crystal bottles, like just so beautiful. I mean, quite literally boudoir. This scent is just so powerful. And I feel like the person that wears this is a very powerful person. Like this scent accompanied by the person that wears it is just like a combination of like power, ownership, ownership of themselves, their bodies, their sexuality, they're in control. They are somebody who cannot be stopped somebody that cannot be told what to do. They are just 100% themselves and they are living their fantasy. So I'm on my laptop, I'm on my phone, it's real late at night, I'm on every single website, I'm on every single blog, I'm on every single Reddit, I am just doing it. I am doing the research, I'm like somebody, somebody's got to have an answer. People in the fragrance community, What's the answer? How do we get a dupe for this? And somewhere deep within the internet world, I found a post where someone suggested Eden Perfumes number 6 
1.8. So I actually reached out to Eden Perfumes because I wanted to test this out. I wanted to do a review and compare the two perfumes next to each other, see how they smell, how they perform, how they react to my skin and my body chemistry. And they were so kind enough to send me a bottle of their number 618. So thank you so much, Eden Perfumes. So on this wrist here, I have sprayed Eden Perfumes 618. I sprayed it on my wrist about nine o'clock this morning and it is about three o'clock now. And it is still going strong. Wow. I wish you could smell it through the screen. Oh, I really wish you could. Why do we not have that technology yet? So Eden Perfume sent me a 50 ml of their bottle here. Now, I just want to quickly mention as well the great thing about Eden Perfume. So if you empty a bottle, if you finish with a bottle, if you are in the UK, you can go into their store with your empty bottle and get a refill. And I do believe that you get it discounted. So whatever it would be to buy a brand new bottle, when you refill it, it is discounted. Not only that, you can actually send in your bottle. So if you can't get to the store or if you're internationally, you can send in your bottle and get a refill as well. So let's just get straight to it, okay? Let's get straight to the point. Is this a dupe for Vivian Westwood Boudoir? Yes, I am so happy to tell you yes, okay? If you couldn't tell already by what I've been saying, by how I've been feeling, how happy I am, this is a dupe for Vivian Westwood. Now, I have the original, I have one. I can compare the two and that's exactly what I did. On one arm, I put the original. On the other arm, I put Eden Perfumes. And I'm telling you, the dry down, the scent, the warmth, the base, it is exactly the same. The only difference that I came across between Eden Perfumes and Vivian Westwood is when you initially spray Eden Perfumes, it is very fresh. You get a lot of those top notes. It is just gorgeous, by the way. And then eventually it dries down to a very, very true Vivian Westwood scent. Now, my guess is Initially, when Vivian Westwood came out with Boudoir, initially, you could smell that scent that you get from Eden Perfumes. The only reason why I can't be 100% sure is because my bottle is obviously an old bottle. So over time, perfumes do age and their scents change a bit. So I think all it is, the difference is the initial spray. This is more fresher. It is more brand new and you get those top notes. Whereas for the Vivian Westwood, I don't really get the top notes. However, I do get the middle and base notes so clearly. These two perfumes smell exactly the same. Once they've dried down and they've sorted, they smell exactly the same. And if that isn't good enough already, let me tell you this, when I tested the two, the next morning, like the next day, I could smell both of them on my arm still. I could slightly smell the Vivian Westwood, but I could really smell the Eden perfumes. The Eden perfumes last longer. Now this could be because, like I said, this is brand new, this is fresh. Now, if you're curious about the notes for Eden perfumes 618, I've got them here. I'm probably gonna pronounce a whole bunch of these wrong. Don't come for me. I'm trying my best here. So for the top notes, we've got Carnation, Marigold, Hyacinth. I know I've, spelled, I've said that wrong. Orangel Blossom, Orangel Blossom. That's probably wrong as well. <laughs> Bergamot. So for middle notes, we've got Carnation, Rose, Cardamom, Narcissus, Coriander, Ori Root, and Jasmine. And for the base, we have Vanilla, Tobacco Leaf, Cinnamon, Sandalwood, and Patchouli. I'm telling you, it is exactly Vivian Westwood. It truly is. You get the beautiful notes of florals, you get the warmth, you get vanilla, you get the spiciness of the cinnamon and like the smokiness of the tobacco leaf. It is just divine. So if you have Vivian Westwood Boudoir or you've tried it before or you've smelled it before, I would love to know what your thoughts are on Eden Perfume 618. If you've smelt this too, if you haven't, but you have tried the original, 
please get your hands on the Eden Perfume 618. Let me know what you think. Let me know the comparison below. I'd be very interested to know how it works on my skin, how it reacts, how it smells. I'm telling you for me, on my skin, it is exact. But I'd love to know your thoughts on it as well if you have tried both of them. And if you haven't tried Vivienne Westwood Boudoir but you're curious, this video made you curious about the scent, get your hands on an Eden Perfume 618, try it out, let me know what you think as well. So not only does Eden Perfumes have an alternative for Vivienne Westwood, they also have alternatives for lots of different fragrances and brands as well. They have alternatives for Chanel, Dior, Givenchy, there's a whole list. So whatever it is that you use, if you're wanting an alternative for it, a dupe perhaps, or even just you want your fragrance but you want it to be vegan and cruelty free, please check out Eden Perfumes. I know this is a different type of video than you usually get from me, but I really did enjoy putting this together and testing this out. So let me know down below if you enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you did enjoy this type of video, let me know if you'd like me to do more videos like this in the future. And of course, a big thank you to Eden Perfumes for making it even possible for me to make this video. But that is it for today. So I hope you're having a good day, good night, good weekend, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all on my next one. Mwah. Laters.